Hi, I'm Tony Gomez from MonarchButterflyGarden.net and today I'm here to show you just how easy it is to take cuttings from your tropical milkweed to make new plants for the spring season. Now first of all, before you take your cuttings, you want to probably put on a pair of gloves because if you get milkweed sap um, from your hands into your eyes it can be very painful. Um, if you don't have gloves to wear, just make sure you wash your hands thoroughly when you're done and you should be fine. So, um, to take the cutting, you're going to use either a pruning shears like this one right here, or um, you can also use a household scissors if you don't have a pruning shears. So, taking a cutting, you are going to take um, a piece of the stem of the plant and you want to take about four inches um, for a cutting. And um, another way to measure the length of your cutting is to count down three to five leaf, leaf nodes. And a leaf node is basically any place here where there are leaves growing on the plant. So one leaf node, two, three, four, five. Now when you take the cutting, you want to cut at an angle and you also want to cut right below one of the leaf nodes because this is where roots will grow back into the plant. So here I am taking the cutting and there we go. Came out pretty easily and you'll notice there's a lot of leaves on the cutting after you take it off. So what you want to do is um, take the leaves carefully off the cutting just by pulling down like this and you'll do this all the way up the cutting and when you're done what you'll be left with um, I usually keep a couple of the top leaves on but you'll have a stem like this which you then can place in a cup of water um, about this size even smaller if you want to um, fill it up um, you know so this, the cutting is submerged and um, you want the top part to be out of, out of water but then you can just set this anywhere in your kitchen. You don't need to set it in direct light. Um, and over the next few months, roots will grow out of the bottom of this cutting. And in the springtime, I will be able to put the cutting directly into the garden. Um, no pots, no soil. It's just a very easy process. Um, once again, I am Tony from MonarchButterflyGarden.net. And until next time, happy garden.